Colorado. So Weatherby will step in against Byfield, the Barracuda 4 4 0 oh, 1 on the year. And the odds. He's in his third season under contract with the Kings. He wins the draw to the point. Bjornfoot works in. His shot blocked wide. Tracked down by Anderson. Angle shot, and he scores. He beats Strauss Mann short side, and I don't think Mann was expecting him to pull the trigger. Back to the point for Hatika. Walks the line, left-handed shot. Rister! He scores! His shot towards the net came off a shin guard. I think it was blocked by Hatika, and it's cleared back to center by the Barracuda. Moverari gave it away. Viel, a breakaway to the backhand. He scores! Clear an attempt. Good hold there by Cease as he was able to baseball swing it out of midair. Centered in front. Weisblad. He scores! That was a dangerous sequence. Back right side for Spence. Looking for a redeflect. He'll errantly skip into the corner. Byfield back to the point. Minute remaining in the third. There's a shot. Rebound. Backhander. They score. Ward puts it off the crossbar and in with 56 seconds remaining in the third. Shoots. Save made by Man. The puck behind him. Man trying to get back in place. Where is it? He's able to secure it. Oh my goodness. That puck was behind Strauss Man. Byfield did not locate it in time, or it would have been a tap in goal. Anderson with a goal earlier in this one. He's one for three lifetime at shootouts. He'll take it wide to the right, works in, and a save made by Strauss Man. Left-handed shot will snake his way in on net. Works in. Backhand and a beautiful glove save there by Copley. And we're tied at 1-1. Now we'll go to the top of the third. Down shoots and a save made by Copley. So the rain once again will have an opportunity to win this game in the shootout now in the bottom of the fourth round. Sam Fagimo will get the chance for Marco Sturm's team again has a chance to win it two for four lifetime and shootout to work in shoot and he sailed it goodness gracious that puck was up on edge and he used the pitching wedge for the Barracuda in this fifth round or excuse me sixth round Johnson moves in and he scores now Alan Quine will have an opportunity to extend this game he'll take it to the left fumbled it control shoot to hit the post and the Barracuda win it as Straussman has his first victory in the American Hockey League. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's something I haven't been through. So um, I think just trying to keep my head high and uh, work as hard as I can. So glad I'm back. Yeah. And then, you know, getting into this game, kind of what was that mindset just coming through and getting back to playing games? Yeah, I just, just wanted to showcase what I can do. Um, you know, I, I think most importantly, I wanted to win the game. and. Um, Throw that that happens, so um, pretty happy. You know, first goal this season, first game this season. How are you going? Yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, just just happy we won the game. Yeah. Um, and then just kind of that response that you guys had, you know, going down in the first period and kind of coming back to take the lead and then going into overtime, you know, what did you kind of see on the ice just kind of the, from that response? Yeah, I, I think I think being in the crowd and being on the ice, totally different thing. Um, you really see the resilience in the group and the leadership. I think you know the leaders we have on this team are, are very smart and um, you know work their tail off on and off the ice. So it's such a great example for guys like you know myself that are just starting to come up and um, you know it, it shows on the ice too. So Ozzy, can you take us through your goal. I mean, how how good did that feel knowing that you had to have all this hard work to just come back up here yeah. and making your debut and then score like that. Yeah, it's kind of the cherry on the cake, I guess. You know, um, I've been working my butt off, so 
um, for that for that to happen. It was pretty nice, but uh, Cozy made an unbelievable play. Uh, he had a great four check that that whole shift. So um, that play doesn't happen without him. So uh, he did a great job. Do you, you feel like maybe he could have been up here a little bit sooner, or do you feel like just what you did in Wichita, you were able. To, this was the right time for you to come out for the for Barracuda. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it, it is it is what it is, and you know, I, I trust what this organization's doing, and um, you know, I trust them fully. So, whatever they they need, they think is best for myself. You know, I, I trust them. And being a former first round pick, was there any pressure kind of heading into the season to make a, a first a big splash or a first impression that saying, hey, you know, that's why you guys took me in the first round? Yeah, I mean, I I just came here to play my game. Um, I'm not worried about being a first round pick. You know, I I could have been in the seventh round and. I still would have worked as hard, so um, you know I try not to let that you know defy who I am uh, on or off the ice. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thanks, guys. How are you feeling? Yeah, it felt pretty good to get those one, um, especially coming in the third. You know, getting the comeback and it's been a tough stretch, and getting a win there it feels pretty good. So, I mean, getting back to home ice, being up in Calgary, it was a little cold coming back down here. You guys thawing out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we're just glad to get the win, honestly, because uh, uh, long travel day yesterday, you know, come back here at home and, you know, not a lot of time to turn around. And, uh, you know, I thought we did pretty good. Obviously, it wasn't perfect, but um, it's a step in the right direction. I mean, and Ontario was a team that kind of started a little bit of a losing schedule. Was it like, you know, to get that one against them to try to kind of come back from it? Yeah, I mean, they have a really good team. Uh, they're good all around, so it, it feels pretty good to get a win against that team. For sure. And then you just talk about, you know, had a couple rough games up in Calgary, you come back here yeah. and, you know, you guys get down, but then, you know, you guys persevered to come back and get that three. And then not only did you come back in three, two, but then you guys call off that five minute major with a two minute or five, being down five on three for two minutes. So yeah. you talk about just how you guys came together in that. I mean, if there's one thing that's been going well so far this year is the PK. So, um, you know, we're gl I'm glad we killed that. And uh, like you said, you know, tough couple of games in Calgary and you know kind of coaches kind of sent a message and you know I thought we responded pretty pretty well tonight and uh, like I said it's a step in the right direction but it's it's not it's not perfect we still we still got a lot of places we can improve and um, hopefully we can do that and and you know keep moving forward. You may be surprised I mean you're, you're known as an agitator but yet you scored two goals on him tonight maybe you weren't <laughs> expecting you to do that. <laughs> well like I said I'm glad I got some goals too because uh you know, try to get my offense back a little bit, a little bit more playing time down here. So, uh, you know, it's, I guess it feels good. I talked a lot to John McCarthy about, you know, playing uh, like with the team identity of just kind of everyone in all the time. What's that kind of team identity that you've been seeing throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, uh, that was one of the things that I thought we didn't do well in Calgary. It's just like, uh, you know, working hard and working for each other. And I don't think we did that down there. And uh, I thought it was better today, um, like I said. so. Still, some stuff to improve. I don't think our second period was very good, but uh, um, like I said, we showed we showed some character in the third and and came back and you know like like you said, killing that five minute and killing that five on three, um, that was huge for us. And I I think that's just gonna make us stronger and push us in the right direction. And then five games in seven nights. What are you guys kind of head headspace heading into this weekend's games? Yeah, I mean, honestly, we're just focusing on that one first, but now, yeah, now we got a practice day tomorrow and then back to back. So, uh, yeah, we got a uh, we got dialed in. I think Colorado's a pretty good team too, so uh, it won't be easy, that's for sure. And then I have to ask, because you played pucks and pucks.